Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and today we're going to be doing this simple kind of glam look right here. Um, uh, girl, like, this look looks so cute. I was kind of inspired, um, uh, as well. What I was inspired by, I'll put her name right here, somewhere, over here. Um, and I'll also put the picture somewhere on the screen, um, just to show you guys what kind of look I was inspired by. I don't really talk about it, like, during the tutorial, like, who I was inspired by and stuff like that, but, um, I was inspired, and, um, I just really like this look, and I really liked it on her, and it, like, it looks so good, and it looks so cute, and I feel like it will look different than everybody else. Yeah, I think it looks really cute, and, um, if you want to learn how to get this makeup look, go to her channel, um, which will be down below in the description, and her Instagram will be down below. Um, if you want to learn this look, you go to her channel and go watch it, or go to just like stay here and watch it um if you're new subscribe and hit that bell button and if like you like this video comment or like it or something and yeah so if you want to learn how to get this look like i said a million times then just keep on watching i feel like i need to wear like something pink or something like is that a thing or white or something because the makeup the, the makeup look that i'm doing it's kind of like a pink, kind of warm, orangey kind of look. And uh, I don't know if I want to change or not. My neck looks so bad too. Like, look at that. Is this shirt better? It's a, like, um, a Peter Pan shirt. Let me see if I can show you guys. Take me to Neverland. Oh, yeah. It's so cute. I, like, totally forgot about this shirt. Alright, guys. So, the first thing that we're going to be doing is taking scotch tape. Um, I'm going to take a little bit, put it on the back of my hand, and then just take it off. And that will actually, um, uh, like, make it not, how, like, make it not, like, pull on your skin when you take it off. It won't make it, like, very, very sticky. So... Let me see if I can find a palette that I could go in with other than the Jaclyn Hill palette. I think I'm going to go in with the Sweet Peach palette. Um, maybe the Tarte Tarte's Pro palette. I'm going to just pull out some palettes and see where this goes. Okay, so I'm going to go in with the Peanut Butter and hold on. Like, my nails is just... My nails are so bad, so if you guys see them at all when I'm showing you guys the product and blending out my eyeshadow, just don't look at them because they're kind of looking a little, yeah, um, cool. Um, but I am going to grab the, um, uh, Too Faced Sweet Peach, not Sweet Peach, the Peanut Butter and Jelly Palette, and I'm going to grab, um, uh, this color called, uh, peanut butter I'm kind of debating if I want to go in with peanut butter first or nuts about you but I think I'm gonna go in with peanut butter first and then maybe we'll go in with nuts about you later I'm gonna take this color right here from the palette and I'm gonna take like this big old fluffy brush um, uh, and it's a silicone blending brush and I'm just gonna put that in my crease you literally don't have to do the tape but I want to do the tape because I want my wing liner to look like really Gucci um, because wing liner just does not it just does, does not like me you don't have to do this at all um, you don't even have to do a wing with this look um, you'll see what it will look like without a wing um, later but you don't have to do a wing I just want to do a wing and now I'm going to go in with some, like, shimmers. And I don't know what kind I want to go in with. I think I'm going to have to go in with the Jaclyn Hill palette with these, like, shimmer shades. I'm going to go in with the Jaclyn Hill palette. And I'm going to go with, like, a pinky kind of shimmer kind of color. And I don't know what I want to go in with, as always. Maybe this one. This one's really pretty. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's like a pink kind of color, a peachy kind of color, I would say, with like a gold, like, reflect in it, and it's so pretty. Do you see that now? 
Oh my god, girl. I'm gonna take that color, and it is right here in the Jaclyn Hill palette, and I'm gonna grab that with my finger, and I'm just gonna tap that on the, like, outer part of, uh, like, my lid. And then I am gonna go in with, like, a gold kind of color. This one's a little bit too dark. This is the gold in the Jaclyn Hill palette. It's a little bit too dark for what I'm looking for. That's too white. That's too white. That's too white. Alright, let me go through, like, my gold. Wait, I, I should go in with the... Um, color in here which is so gorgeous this has to be one of my favorite colors like that I have like th like my favorite gold is this one right here it's just so gorgeous like can you guys see that I don't know if I can. but it's just so pretty and I love it so much and it's called bananas um and the peanut butter and jelly palette is my favorite I'm not like joking when I say this my favorite gold that I have in my collection I think I'm gonna grab the the sweet peach palette actually um just so I could grab a different palette um uh, I'm gonna grab this color right here which is called summer yum and I'm gonna grab a little bit of that on this small little fluffy brush and I'm going to go in the inner corner I mean not inner corner outer part of the eye like the outer corner on the lid in the crease and I'm gonna like just softly what start blending that into the crease so that color um, that's like so the color in the crease is a little bit darker. And then we'll apply that pinky shade that we put on the outer part back into, like we'll apply it again because this color is gonna kinda take that color away and we do not want that, okay. Um, I'm gonna take this brush and blend everything so there's no harsh edges or anything like that. All right, so I haven't decided what liner I want to use like for a wing. Um, uh, like, I'm deciding on this Ciate London and the Steve Laurent, um, Precise Liners. Yeah, I'm going in with the, um, Ciate London, because look at that. This one right here is the Steve Laurent, like, it's not giving its full, like, pigment. And this one is the Ciate London one. It's just giving its full pigment, honey. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna, I don't know what kind of wing I wanna do, like a small wing, or like a short wing, or a long wing. I think I'm gonna go in the middle of, kind of, medium to short, you know, kind of in the middle to short and medium. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna be doing, but you guys will see when it's on my eyes, if I go for a long one or what. But I'm just going to do my liner real quick and I'll be right back with you guys. Alright, so this is the big reveal. My liner, I could, I know, it's a little bit thick. I don't know how it got there, but it, it, it happened. So, you know, yeah, there's nothing I can do about it though. So, I am going to clean it up just a little bit. Um, uh, just to make it a little bit sharper. And, yeah. But this is, like, the most satisfying thing. Boom. Um, but I'm gonna put on mascara and probably the Total Temptation mascara from Maybelline. And then I'm gonna plop on some lashes. I have no idea what kind of lashes I want to go with. But I'll let you guys know, um, when I come back with you guys. Um, these lashes are from... I need to get more lashes or something, because... Yeah, I just have, I'm very, like, I don't really get a lot of lashes. Um, I have, like, three lashes. It's always like that. Like, I have three lashes, and then I wear them until I have to throw them away, and then I get three lashes again. It just goes over and over and over like that. Um, but these are the Allure Lashes and two, the Style 202, 
and yeah I just thought that they were really pretty with this look and I felt like I shouldn't go with a natural lash because I just but I'm gonna do my waterline which is with this pencil right here this is just a Ramel um, liner um, uh, like water pencil thingy yeah I'm a jigger yeah it's a thing and it's just the color white and I'm just gonna put this in my waterline um now I'm gonna do my mascara down there um, I'm gonna put some powder down there that's why I don't even have highlight on uh, because um, when I put powder on my highlight it kind of like makes it look natural it doesn't make it like how I want it to like very blinding Um, but I'm gonna let that dry, um, the pow- not the powder, that's not gonna dry, it's just there, it's just powder, oh my god. Um, I'm gonna let the mascara dry, and then I am going to take off the powder, like, sweep it off, put my highlight on, and then I'm gonna figure out a lippy, so I'll be right back with you guys. Um, the lippy that I went with, I was going through a bunch and I even was putting on something and then I put a gloss on top and stuff. But I just wasn't feeling it. Um, I wasn't feeling the um, matte lipstick that I went for or the gloss. So I changed it to this and it looks pretty good. I mean, I couldn't really find anything to match this. I didn't want to go with a nude, like a total nude. Um, uh, but, you know. Um, but I went with this LA Colors Matte Liquid Lip Color in Vixen. Um, but, yeah, it's cute and everything, and you know, it lasts very long, and yeah. I'm gonna take this right here for my brow bone in my inner corner highlight. Um, I also use it as my, like, cheekbone, forehead, and all that jazz highlight. Um, this is the Wet Wild Blossom Glow Highlighter. And I used that and, hold on, I used this L'Oreal Paris Infallible Eyeshadow, um, 24 hour eyeshadow in Ice Latte. And girl, this is so cute. I forgot that I had this in my collection and it's so pigmented, it's just so beautiful. Like girl. Um, but I'm going to go get, like, ready for the day, and I'll be right back. I feel like I've been saying I'll be right back, in a lot, like, a lot in this video. I don't know if that's just me or what. Alright, guys, so my neck is kind of looking, like, real patchy right now, but I'm hoping, like, you won't be able to see it on camera, which you guys probably will, but, you know. And uh, the reason why my face looked a little bit lighter is because my self-tanner, um, but I'm like letting it go. I'm not going to do self-tanning right now or any tans. Maybe in the future, but not right now. Um, uh, but it's kind of rubbing off a little bit around my neck and stuff. So my neck kind of looks a little bit darker, but it doesn't look horrible. Um, uh, but yeah, I really like how this looks like my makeup like it looks so pretty um it's like a ombre effect and i really really like it and it's so cute and it's like an everyday simple like it, it's like a simple glam and i really like how it looks and um yeah i feel like you could wear this anywhere and you could kind of like skip a few steps to make it not as like dramatic if some of you guys think it's dramatic um i feel like it's not really dramatic at all maybe the lashes make it makes it look dramatic and maybe the wing liner but i feel like it's not dramatic i feel like it's very simple and easy it's very like boom 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 um but yeah so i hope you guys like this makeup look and if you do give it a like and also a comment i mean comment what you guys want to see next or um something like that um also um, if you're new, subscribe, um, if you haven't already, subscribe to the Butcher Fam, join the Butcher Fam, and, um, hit that bell button so you get notified every single time I upload a new video, and you can be the first one to like and comment, um, and share, maybe, I mean, you could share this video if you want to, I mean, 
you have my permission. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I don't think there's anything else to tell you guys, but I love you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!